Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. I got a quick question about um, how long it takes for a muscle recover. Now, this I, I'm sure I looked at the studies because it's the only way you can really, you know, um, answer that question. I normally pick bro science and science to try to see what they have in common. But in this case, you gotta, you know, just look at the studies. And once again, just like every other study, they argue. You know, they're both giving different numbers out there. So what I do when it, when studies give me different numbers, I usually try to average them out. Studies go as low as now remember guys recovery as opposed I'm, I'm referring to protein synthesis you know building muscle how long does it take for a muscle to grow after after a workout right it repairs to protein synthesis as long as protein synthesis is higher than protein breakdown you have gains make it simple so um protein synthesis the real question is how long does it take place after you train and start eating and things like that studies say they go it goes from as low as i looked at like so many freaking studies on protein synthesis post-workout it's as low as of uh, 24 hours right depending on how long you've been training I, I hope you also know that the longer you've been training the faster the muscle recovers a beginner's could have protein synthesis up for like 48 three days sometimes four days uh, ex experienced lifters, that's why I tell people, the more experienced you are, the more frequent you want, the more frequently you want to train. Experienced lifters, people that have been training for over a year, over two years, you put in this is anywhere from 24 hours to 72 hours max. So here's, guys, here are your two numbers. As low as 24 hours and your muscle is done recovering after your workout, right? Just because you saw it doesn't mean it's not done recovering. And as high as 72 hours. These are the two parameters. Some, you know, and the, the two extremes. Some people say six hours, you know, like in, in some cases. But let's just focus on, you know, what most studies come up with. As low as 24 hours. Meaning after you went to the gym and you hit chest, depending on how long you've been lifting and how good your nutrition is, your hormone balance, things like that, around 24 hours, to 72 hours is the max, right? After that's why some people after three days, you don't hit a muscle after three days. I mean, unless you got great, great, marvelous, you know, broadly genetics, you're not gonna make too many gains. You know, after you hit plateau, it's gonna hit a plateau and it stay at that same size for months before you start seeing even a tiny change, right? Nobody wants that. Yes, you're gonna grow, but it's gonna take you a lot longer. You want to keep protein sentences up. That's why I tell people full body workout if you don't want to do full body workout that's fine try doing push pull try doing anything where you train the muscle at least at the very least twice a week right but what i'm recommending is three times right three times a week is i think i think is optimal for protein synthesis uh and when you're doing the overtraining thing you know you know you know it's a whole different story you're hearing that shit every day but um yeah guys tw that's the science that's not bro science that's the fucking science as low as 24 hours as high as 72 hours and protein synthesis is done the muscle is done you know trying to repair itself so you got to go back to the gym and hit it again uh doesn't mean you got to kill it every time but just stimulate protein synthesis it doesn't take it takes like three to six sets to stimulate protein synthesis guys so you don't have to do i'm not saying you should only do three to six sets but i'm telling you just in case you feel like you want to go to the gym and just kick start protein synthesis three to six sets you know as long as you're doing it good and you know with a decent amount of weight um obviously you need more volume than that to have a good workout but you know i'm just giving you that number for those of you that want it so yes i hope that answers your question um what else what else what else what else and, and it makes sense guys the muscle has to recover fast now your nervous system might take longer right but that's a whole different video but the reason why you the muscles recover so fast is because guys muscles recover for one reason i say that over and over again adaptation to adapt and survive and if it takes you more than a week to adapt and survive the organism is gonna fucking die right if, if you were a caveman and your muscles had to grow to support the workload or whatever the hunting you were doing your muscles can't wait a week that's not i don't, I don't believe in, in splits it depends oh, guys uh, that's a whole different video but guys you can't hit a muscle the body grows because you use that muscle a lot of time you give it a lot of load and it feels like you, it, it, it needs to grow for your survival so your body makes it grow your body doesn't like changing it like staying at home your stasis so if it's gonna change it's because you need that muscle you can't hit your chest once a week unless you've been lifting for a very fucking long time like eight years you can't hit your muscle once a week and you expect your body to make dramatic changes you know and i'm talking about people that are not beginners you're a beginner your body's gonna change whether you hit the muscle once or twice a week right but if you lift it for a while the stress it takes for your body to grow and adapt to the next level you can't give that to your muscle once a week come on like just think about evolution think about adaptation right a once a week stress your body's gonna grow uh, and recover just enough to handle a once a week stress right that's a lot of people that their chest grows grows and they reach a, 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 a you know a stage where they just don't grow anymore and they've been lifting for like three years and they, they, they got like minimum 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 changes they're like oh let me just eat more let me just eat more and nothing is happening your body has given you a chest to a you were hitting it once a week so it gives you chest that will be able to handle that stress once a week that's it try to train it 
even people that are on steroids, IFBB pros, a lot of um, professional bodybuilders with the best genetics, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Phil Heath with the, some of the best genetics, even uh, testified over and over again, even with all the help they're on, when they had lagging body parts, they had to hit them more. Like Ronnie and Jay and, and Phil had to hit their backs twice a week. And they're, they're enhanced, guys. They're on stuff. Imagine you a natural guy and you're going to try to hit your shit once a week. If Ronnie Coleman could not make his back and his arms, I mean, I've read, read his interviews. He, may, he has to do that on his arms, his calves, and his back, right? If Ronnie Coleman and Phil Heath could not get their backs to grow on once a week training with, you know, you know what? How much more are you a natural guy? You, you, your body would will not see a big change or a big reason to adapt if you only hit a muscle once a week. You gotta hit it frequently, right? And I, I give you the examples: gymnasts and their big ass arms, strongman competitors and their big ass traps, uh, uh, sprinters and their big ass quads. This is stuff that they use every fucking day. But um, anyway, if if this if um, the whole two or three times a week thing is too much for you, fine, don't do it. If you get in gains, if you like. A, 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 a great genetic motherfucker And you only gotta hit a muscle once a week And it still grows That's fine Keep doing it But if you're one of the people out there That's following those those routines you just not getting gains from it It's cause once a week Is simply not enough To make a muscle respond And people that say that Oh that's overtraining Then even on splits You might as well quit Because you're overtraining your, your shoulders and your triceps When you have chest day Right You're hitting shoulders and triceps and when you're doing shoulder day, you're hitting shoulders and triceps again. And if you're doing arm day, you're hitting triceps. And if you're doing dips, you're hitting shoulders and triceps again. So both ways, people in splits are still hitting certain body parts more than twice a week, right? So you can't even say, oh, it's just overtraining because people in splits are doing it anyway. So might as well find a great, a, a, a good program where you can hit each muscle maximum every three days, right? Every three days. Because after three days, it's studies have shown that proteosynthesis is done. It's done. You're wasting your time. Um, so um, train, wait maximum three days to hit that muscle again. You don't have to do a full blown workout again, but try to just hit it just enough to to get the fire put these senses going. All right. Hope this video helps somebody. Hey guys, what's going on, Megan here? Quick question, I guys. Really good question too. Um, he said, Megan, um, what is make a video about the pump? And he said versus versus progressive overload meaning what should you go for progressive overload or the pump and i'm pretty sure he asked that question because he knows that progressive overload is one of the key 